Tell us about Cut. Okay, Cut is uh, one of the shortest pieces in the book, and it is written in the form of a diary, the diary of a filmmaker who's um, making a, a short film um, in Scotland. Uh, and the, it's, it's a kind of a, a working diary. So it's got, um, you know, stuff about what they need for shots, um, shots that work, shots that don't work. So it's not a dear diary type of thing. It's like a, a notebook uh, that you need when you're going through a project like that. So consequently, there's, there's some technical stuff in there to do with um, close-ups and, uh, you know, um, prep work and uh, establishing shots and those kinds of things um, that you that you hear when you're if you're on a, if you're on a, if you're on a set. Um, I'm going to read this one piece, um, and it's quite it's quite short. Uh, here it is. Okay, so this is from day seven. Day seven. So on this day they don't actually go out filming because the weather's so bad. Okay, day seven. Rain, low cloud, no filming, just time in the pilgrim. Forecast is good. We can get it all tomorrow. Turned into a long drinking day. CJ and Andy are good for next year's brigand project, and there are al already some ideas coming out. I spoke to Simon about the final shot. Ha, 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 yes, we do need the final shot. Yes, are you crazy? It's not just me disappearing over the hill. It's me getting over the arc of this affair. It's my immersion into the landscape I've been work working on. It's me rejoining and renewal the real relationship with the real love of my life, the land. He got very fiery. Well, it was a long day. And at some point, we all did about different things. CJ turned to politics. Well. When you're in the pilgrim all day and not shooting but drinking, there's going to be something at some point. It was a good laugh, though. All in all, a good day. The forecast tomorrow is good. See, I tied on Simon for the shot five and then pulled to focus. I think we're coming to the end anyway. We'll all be home soon. So uh, uh, there's an artist called Alan Morgan who lives in the Vale of Glamorgan who does fantastic um, uh, charcoal uh, works um, does really great black and white charcoal pieces so I sent him that um, and um, and he responded with with an image which is very haunting and really fits the fits the piece of one of the characters um, in that in that story um, and each time I've just been amazed at, at the, the work that's come back I love it, working with with artists um, I find it very inspiring and very gratifying. <laughs>